In that house, I saw a lot of strange things where a uh, farm uh, will be having an affair with goats. A goat will be sleeping with dog and all that. And, and it is a strange thing, I'm telling you. No, physically. Physically, it is not a strange uh, uh, thing. A goat will be uh, meeting with a dog. Yes, meeting with a dog. Uh, with, with, with a dog. Uh, sometimes you see a hen, a, a hen mm -hmm. who climb a dog and do, be doing dog. Uh, you will be surprised. <laughs> Sitting down one evening with my family, my wife and my children, and my spirit was taking. Mm -hmm. So the thing was so heavy and I can feel some heavy something here at the back of my head. And when the thing was happening, I was like, am I going mad? Mm -hmm. Because my spirit was out and we were moving around the world. He took me to a lot of places. I've seen a throne with gold. Was the place that we first been to was like under the sea. Okay. And then that is when I saw the throne. So your spirit had been taken to the yes. church before. I you brought a guy. Uh, the guy came to the church. He said he's looking he needed deliverance because he had been to churches for long and he he they couldn't do anything about it. They said they have been into this uh, gate thing for the past nine years. Hmm. He came to Accra and uh, he was serving ice cream there and he met the man. And the man said oh, he would like to help him, so he should come to his house. So the man gave him a complimentary card, went to the man, and the man took advantage of him. That was why he was mm. initiated mm. into mm. his mm. Or sometimes if the thing comes like that, you go to you go outside. Anybody he sees and talk to, no matter who you are, you follow him. Hey! It's multi TV. And welcome back once again to Priesthood Hour here on Motivation TV. And I'm your host, Minister Eben. We come your way every time on Priesthood Hour. We talk to men of God and people who are into ministry. They share their experiences, their testimonies, their challenges, the things that they've been through. One man said that the secret of great men is in their stories. So we always want to find out the stories behind these great men and the things they are doing. And this week, too. I'm coming away with another edition and <laughs> today you'll be amazed at the things that you're going to hear. I'm a very great man of God here with me. He's a minister of the gospel and he's someone that uh, anytime you come close to him, he's someone that carries the presence and the anointing of God. And today he has accepted to come here on the priesthood hour to sit and tell you some of the experiences that he has been through. So join me and let's welcome the man of God onto the program. Man of God, welcome to the show. Thank you. You're welcome to Okay, this is the priesthood hour. And I want to say a very big thank you for accepting the invite to be here today. All right, so man of God, now tell us about yourself. All right, first of all, my greetings to all viewers and the genuine followers of Christ and everybody. Um, Samuel, you can call me brother Samuel Dakeliao. I'm from Volta region. Okay, so that's Pastor Samuel Yao Dake, an ambassador for Christ. We want to hear his story. So please, um, who is Pastor Samuel Dake? Pastor Samuel Dake is just ambassador of Christ okay. and uh, a radical preacher in this our end time um, from a family of nine and uh, my mom is a prophetess and uh, my my dad is no more actually i don't want to go into it i'm like so uh, uh, for now that so, is that is me so where were you born where were you raised your schooling before the ministry came uh, okay I, I was born in uh, a town in volta region called kwabikun kwabikun uh, it's a hard ground uh, it's not part of a uh, uh, hotel agency okay. yes and, and that was where i was born and uh, we all we all that is where we were born and uh, i'm the fifth among the nine siblings and my mom, as I said, she's also she's a prophetess. Mm -hmm. And I as I said that she's a quick tempered one. She she separated from my dad. Okay. And something happened, I think she fell sick. 
and uh, her first daughter, which happened to be our elder sister, took her to a prayer center. And that is where the man of God there said she had a call of God. That is mm -hmm. all this thing is happening. Mm -hmm. And when she honored the job, she would either be like this or maybe die out of it. Mm -hmm. So they gave her a fast to do. And she has fasted for I think seven days or fourteen days, if I can remember. And after that, she had an encounter with the Lord. Mm. And uh, God uses it. So I can remember that was around 96, 97 there about. Mm -hmm. So she came back to Kami Krum again and she was like she wants to take us along. And my dad also said, uh, we have to go. But then I was with my dad alone. And after my mom returned, my younger brother, the one who followed me directly, also came. So we followed him to my mom to her father's village. A village near um, Jessica. Mm -hmm. It is called Akata. It's a typical village. Akata. Aka, Akata. Akata. You can't you can't go there with car. Car don't go there. It's, it's a <laughs> so, did you walk or you went to you would take ride? a car to um, a place, mm. then the rest is a foot. Mm. But then there was no motorbike around. Mm. So about, um, one, uh, two, three hours walk wow. to the village. So that is when we went. And then, and then I, I, we went there without schooling. We, we stayed there for two years. That is, uh, yes, that is 98. Yes, 97, 92, 2000, uh, to 99. We were just in the house yeah, because like, there was no school. There was no school. There was no school. We were there. Like we finish, and then my mom. That is where she started the ministry from. Mm -hmm. That village. Mm -hmm. She impacted a lot of people. She got used there a lot. So from there, she told us that the Lord said she should move from that village to Owe. Mm -hmm. But she was thinking how the money will come, how she will move. The tra is it the, tra the transportation or the house, the rent and everything? So uh, she has been this. She has been hearing the message, but she decided not to do anything about it. Yes. Put it there was no money to, to yes. Use. So until one day, even if we finish eating, even if food and uh, I don't know where from this fire came and fall on the building. You know, in this village. Touch building, mm -hmm. they use this touch to do, and then everything burned out, and that is why she decided to take the step. And then a strange fire, a strange fire. We were surprised. I yeah, don't know, we don't know where from the fire. The building just caught fire. That's caught fire. Yeah. From there, after the fire, we went to Hogwarts. We moved to Hogwarts. We, we moved to Hogwarts. Yeah. Uh, that is why the real thing started. The real thing. Uh, yeah, the real thing. My, my story, how I came up, and how I, I, I. Get the revelation of the I have the encounter with God, and I know that I I have, I realize that I am also called. So that was where we began to have the encounters. Yes. Can you tell us some of the encounters? I know there were challenges um, that starting a church there. There were some challenges. Can you share some of yeah, that? Was, it was so it wasn't easy. Yeah, it wasn't easy. It was really tough. Okay. Uh, see, the church my mom started it as a prayer center. In the prayer center, yes, prayer camp. And then when we move, what to eat become a problem. Mm -hmm. So things were really tough. But we managed to get a single room where we all we are all in. How many? Um, we are six. In one room. In one room. Okay. Wow. So our uh, life was really tough and then uh, we didn't get it easy. But lo and behold, uh, somebody offered a lamp behind the where we rented and then uh, we cleared them and then we started praying. My mom started praying. But then I was young. I was talking about, I think, 99. Mm -hmm. I was very young then. Um, and then we started the prayer so much more. But as I time goes on, in that house, I saw a lot of strange things where a uh, father uh, would be having an affair with goats and go to sleeping no. with dog and all that. And, and it is a strange thing. I'm telling you. No, physically. Physically, it is not a strange a, thing. A goat. Will be uh, meeting ah, with a dog. Yes, meeting with a dog. Uh, with, with, with a dog. And sometimes you see a hen, a, a hen mm -hmm. who climb a dog and do be doing dog. Uh, you will be surprised. <laughs> uh, 
school, no, my challenges and all that from home and after school, in a crack of a gentis, you call, but take you in a me back a study electrical installation. I will take you in a me part one or two. You in a me back 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 me back a me back a me back a me 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 uh, you do the work of God. Be a pastor. My mom didn't mention it, but I, it was like a fight between us. So when you left your mother and came to her cry, anything about ministry? No, I don't even really go to church. I don't go to church. I go to church once. Oh, wow. It was my sister that do go to church, but I go to church on 31st. Either 31st or 1st. <laughs> Sunday just, in the year, just to show yourself to God, <laughs> present yourself as a living yes, sacrifice. Yes, yes, yes. So what what pushed you to go to church? I, what you to go when to I church? came there, I was like, when I was in school, I was like, when I finish, I will do business. Mm -hmm. So uh, opportunity came, and then my sister raised some money. We went to this thing about business, and uh, it flopped. They have raised the good, and everything was gone. Mm -hmm. So and then all that I lay hands on, nothing seems to work. Like anything you do, business is where well. well. sometimes you go hunting for a job, you don't even get the job. Mm. They will tell you, you you don't deserve this job, you can't do this job, this mm. kind of job. Mm. I mean, I remember we went to uh, a site where they are doing carrying concrete and all that. Mm. And when they decided not to give it, even my younger brother got that job, but I did you know, a carrying of concrete, they did not qualify. Yes, <laughs> you get my point. Somebody told me, a man of God told me that uh, if, if God called you and you decide not to honor it. You face this kind of challenges. Mm -hmm. but I say maybe that is the reason why I was going. To so what 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 made you change your mind that now I want to go to church? What made me was uh, when I was going through these challenges and all this hard time. A friend of mine now is in uh, Ireland. Okay. He told me that the way things are going, mm -hmm. he would like me to put my trust in the Lord. So uh, he attended uh, Morning Glory in Action Chapel. So he invited me, so I followed him one morning. I went and the prayer was okay, and then I felt re relieved in my spirit. Mm -hmm. So I decided to join the church. He only attended the prayer service. Uh, so he was not a member. He wasn't a member. No, no. So I joined the church and became a member there. So I, that is how I come. At what point did so, you realize that this time yes, the call is. Okay. That was when I joined the church, something happened. I met a uh, a friend of mine introduced me to his younger brother, mm -hmm. who happened to be a man of God. Mm -hmm. So I went to this guy and he said some things and I was moved, I feel like a small boy, a young guy coming. With this, that he said, maybe you have a, you have a vision, so we all support. So that is why I submit to this guy and then he was helping him. So, so you left? You left? No, I was still going to action, uh -huh. but was helping this guy as well. So the guy was like, he he is he's, he's I would say he's spiritually inclined mm -hmm. because I by then I was totally ignorant about spiritual things spiritual things but whether I'm good to whether to descend though I can feel something within me that some of the things this guy does is not real but I don't know how to go about it I don't even know how to explain it so that is how this whole thing came mm -hmm. and I I I follow this guy he established. Bible school, some six month Bible school, you know, I'll drive you through. So, all this thing that happened, but then there was a lady in my life, mm -hmm. and uh, this we're supposed to get married. So, the things that we buy and for us to I go and do, do yes, for our traditional marriage, we used to sponsor the small boy, the pastor. Hey. And then uh, he, he was, I was, I was hosting, he was staying in my house. The one you, you, you want to use to, for your marriage? Yes. He used so, everything to sponsor yes. the pastor. So, I host him in his boys. In my house, those days, and I mean, after his marriage, he collapsed my relationship with the lady. Oh, and when he told me that up to now, I don't understand it. He said he collapsed that relationship because he will, he will give me a lady he has influence over. And when the thing happened like that, mm -hmm. my sister now said, said to me, I want to take you to Action Chapel, mm -hmm. I want to take you to church. So we went to the church, that was Thursday. Uh, we have a, a prayer session here. Dominion hour. Those are the quality dominion hour. I went there to pray. And then during that prayer session, everything that 
the prayer the left was like it's, it was about me. <laughs> so after everything, I felt like something left me. So uh, are you trying to say that the, the, that pastor you went to follow, there was something, uh, let me see, unusual? That is, uh, there, is, there is a lot of uh, strange things about him which I wouldn't like to talk about today. Okay. But if you want to talk about okay. it, you will not okay. listen to that. But you felt that you went under a certain influence? Yes. That was when you uh, 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 Bad influence. Wow, this is a satanic okay. influence. Let me put it that way. A lesson that if you are watching the video, I want you to learn. Sometimes you just see people. I, I'm not saying don't, don't go to church, but it's not every man of God you need to follow. Before you follow somebody, pray about the person and get a divine revelation. Like what uh, our pastor is sharing, if it had not been uh, God who brought him to action for him to be delivered back, we don't know what would have happened to him. If you are going through something like that, I pray God also have mercy on you and uh, take you to a place where you get to deliver. So, okay, man of God, now, after the prayer and you came back to your senses, what made you decide to come into the ministry? Yeah, that is where I'm going. And after that, uh, when I feel like uh, I, something left me, I went to me and I realized that the guy was sick, really, really sick. He was seriously sick. And then, after the prayer, yes, for you, that day, that guy became sick. Yes. Exactly. He fell sick and then, uh, I don't know what happened. My, this, my sister that I thought direct came to the house and threw his things away and his boys and wife and everything. So they left on. That was when I bounced back to Action Chapel fully again. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a friend of mine, a man of God, led a prayer. And during that prayer, I was touched. But I had something that I should talk to this guy, but I don't know how to approach people in that is like I remember one morning I was going to church. I met him in front of uh, Akramo. I picked him up and went to him. The church, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> and so when we went to a uh, uh, retreat at uh, Abokubi, on our way coming the bus, we sat on the same uh, seat. Before he was telling me that the Lord said he should talk to you, he should talk to me. So he began to tell me things, and I was like, yeah. So he he pushed me up with praise, wow. and that is where everything came up. I followed him. We walked from Yamiche, uh, 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 sometimes wow. to Achimata Forest. To pray. To pray. Wow. We came back very late in the night. Sandra will come and spend the night with me wow. through prayers. Let me through some confession. Yeah, a, um, he has done so a lot of It was like the one that then she to yes, to brought you up in the ministry. And then when uh, after everything, I realized that I was I have an encounter. Mm -hmm. So I, if I'm there, the Lord they will just give me a scripture and then I'll read. And then the way like the way I'm having the conversation mm -hmm. with you, that is how it comes to me. I some uh, let me say, if you see someone, yes, give you a scripture. Like, give me a scripture, and then I will go and read it, and then we begin to break it down for me. Wow. Break the scriptures down teaching, for me. You. teaching me. Till now, that is what has been happening. Sometimes scriptures that um, uh, we normally quote normal scriptures, but if the revelations come like that, then the voice started breaking, breaking it down for me. Wow. I get deeper revelation about it. Is it just scriptures or the other things that? Oh, it teaches me. The voice teaches me a lot of things. Can you tell us uh, about life, mm -hmm. uh, about Christianity, mm -hmm. about I mean everything? I had a transit whereby uh, I saw again a trance. A trance. Sorry, a trance. Was was I? I was like the way I am here with you. Okay. I was sitting down one evening with my family, my wife and my children. And my spirit was taken. Mm -hmm. So the thing was so heavy and I can feel some heavy something here at the back of my head. And when the thing was happening, I was like, am I going mad? Mm -hmm. Because my spirit was out and we were moving around the world. He took me to a lot of places. I've seen a throne with gold, a lot of things, a lot of things. Why is this true? Is it heaven or? Like what I saw was the place that we first began to was like under the sea. Okay. And then that is where I saw the throne. So your spirit had been taken to the yes. sea before. I was like my was speaking to my people as well. Sitting, sitting. down. Yeah. So the thing they said I was saying was not sounding well to them. Wow. You know, that is how I have my encounter. The voice teaches me sometimes I have revelation, like a lot of spiritual things wow. that I I I I I some of the things I discuss with some, uh, the guy, the small boy, I'll be experiencing that. Sometimes it's like I'll be there and then I'll feel like I'm sleeping. Before I realize, I saw myself like suspended, yeah, moving around. 
mm. from places to places, and they will be teaching me things. Yes. yes. Uh, when I wake up, I become, I will be very weak. So I discussed with this guy, and he told me that if it's an Okotoko, they will make me a grandmaster. I said, what? What do you mean by that? So until I he left, and then I begin to join the, the, my, my pastor yeah. friend, I met Akash Chapo. Then that is where everything mm-hmm. with this encounter. Wow. So I begin to read the scripture, we meditate on it, break it down. That is how yeah, it happens. Uh, so, until one day, after I joined the council department, I was made a counselor. We joined the prayer group. They brought a guy. Uh, the guy came to the church. He said he's looking. He needed deliverance because I've been to churches for long, and he he they couldn't do anything about it. They said they have been into this uh, gay thing for the past nine years. Mm. He came to Accra, and uh, he was serving ice cream there, and he met the man. And the man said oh, he would like to help him, so he should come to his house. So the man gave him a complimentary card, went to the man, and the man took advantage of him. That was why he was mm-hmm. initiated into mm-hmm. it. And that is it. And said so he will be practicing that. And when every time he's asleep, or the thing comes for him to do that, if he didn't get anybody, the spirit will do it with him. Mm. A spirit being yes. will have an affair with, with him. him. That he sees it all. He sees it all. Or uh, sometimes if the thing comes like that, you go to you go outside. Anybody he sees and talk to, no matter who you are, you follow him. Hey. So uh, he came and then he, he was talking to then one of we, we Christians and uh, women we need to be more spiritual. No? You see, the world we are in it is not just a world, no? this is a mystery world. It's it's a spiritual world. He just meets you and if your spirit is weak, he will talk to you, you follow him. A meal, and yes. you just go and have an affair with And you before you realize, you have also been initiated. initiated. Oh, so, cool. when this guy, his spirit is not allowing him. Mm-hmm. So, he said he had practiced this for nine years. So, he came to the church and he wanted to deliver us. Mm-hmm. So he was talking to one senior counselor in the department. So, I was listening. And because we were in the prayer session. So, when he said, As for this thing, they can't do anything about it now. So, but Friday, we'll be having a deliverance service. So, on that Friday, he should come. Hmm. So the, the, the counselor was talking to him, giving scriptures, and the reason why this thing is not good is against the will of God. But when I was listening, I was hearing the voice again. It was like this guy that you are talking to, and the, in the counselor you are giving him now. Hmm? The guy conscience is gone, and the hmm. spirit that will make your conscience alive, the spirit hmm. is no more with him, which hmm. is the Holy Spirit. Hmm. So this guy need a deliverance, and the thing is hunting him. So I, I was like, how can I go and interrupt my senior man talking to somebody? <laughs> I can't. So, but the pressure was so heavy on me. And then I couldn't hold myself and I went and talked to him that this is what, what, what I had. Uh, the Lord said, the guy has initiated people. And some people also died out of it. Mm. And their blood is crying against him. So we should do this and that and that. We should pray for him with mercy. We should pray and ask for mercy of God. And the man asked me that, how do I know that? This is what this is, is happening. And the guy confirmed it that everything that I said is true. And these are the things that are hurting him. And the man now said, okay. He knew he now realized that I'm talking under the influence of the Holy Spirit. So I should pray with him. So as I took over, I used some 51 to it was like kind of declaration. And I told him if I say it, he should repeat it after me. So during that, and then the guy began to manifest. Mm-hmm. He manifested the first, the second, and then the third time. I did not see the guy again. I saw different being. Something very giant, like a metallic beam with his horn and all that. And immediately, I, I, all I saw is the guy pick a move around and wanted to hit me. And then he shouted, and I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ran away. As I ran away, they called uh, others, they came in, and they hold him down. But no, it, the guy was very violent. No, the, the, yes, the, 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 they lay him on him, pray, and then they cast that in, and then the guy was delivered. Now, before we end the conversation, have you started any ministry? Yet? Yeah, I, yes. The Lord has given me, He has given me the name. It was given through my wife. Okay. And then, uh, most of these things, most of the things, I'll say my wife, uh, meeting her has thrown more light. Uh, Don't worry. On, on we'll have that that's part two of yeah. the conversation with your wife, maybe next week. Okay, so, so um, we'll go into yeah, that. The, the, the name of the church came and then. Most of the things came. Though I was hearing the voice that it is not going to be like normal church service that we have on Sunday. Mm-hmm. It's going to be Saturday service. It's not going to be like SDA. 
but it's going to be a service where we must bring back what the Lord wanted us to do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, on that Sabbath, the week happened to be Saturday, but it has been changed. You see, it has been changed. So, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a, a something on it. I haven't started yet, but I'm helping the man of God. Okay, so you are yeah. now helping yeah. the man of God. Yeah, I'm helping the man of God. But, uh, I am working towards it, registration and all that. Wow. Yeah, so I know every single God will also uh, help you. Uh, when you well, start the ministry to multi business, we will still come up for uh, a different edition of okay. it. Before we, we go, what will you have to say? The things you've been through, the things you've seen, the challenges, and the encounters you've had. There, there might be somebody out there that might be going through this meeting spiritual people and going to all this, what will you tell the person? You see, uh, what I would say is, the Bible will say obedience is better than sacrifice. Okay. And then also, I will urge everybody to learn to discover themselves. Okay. themselves. Okay. If you know who you are, mm. and who you are determine the kind of battle you fight in life. Okay. So after everything, uh, which I, I can't share here because of time, uh, the things now make sense to me that these are the reasons why I went through all this. Mm -hmm. So I will encourage everybody. You see, God is not an author of confusion. Mm -hmm. So if God said he called you, people laugh, does he call you to phone? There are signs, there are things that you will count and you will see that will prove to you that you have been called by God. So let's not bow into the, the mockery of this our time. Is, that is the persecution we are facing now, the church we are facing now. So if you are called, you have this kind of your challenge, like mine, you have challenges, strange happenings in your life and you are coming up. I will tell you that it's a sign that the Lord wants to have something to do with you. Mm. So don't harden your heart. Allow yourself, be flexible. Listen to messages that will motivate you, that will teach you. Mm. And ask the Spirit of God mm. himself to teach you. Because the, the Bible let me understand that in the book of John, First John, is that the thing that the Spirit will teach you, mm. you will not need anyone to teach you. Mm. So you need the Spirit. Don't sometimes you will be in a situation, somebody might be watching you be in a situation, have a similar encounter, mm. looking for somebody to, to, to train him or raise him. Mm. And you don't need anybody to raise you. Mm. But you need ask the Spirit of God, ask God, God to teach you as how He teaches me. Mm. He will help you out. And then, then don't give up, don't look at the mockery and then decide to. Uh, you're not going to it. Your life will be a mess. And you, you get to a point where you want to get started, but then you feel like you have been delayed. Mm. So I will urge everybody. God is real. Christianity is not about faith and how people say that uh, the Western world have come and delete deceive us with the Bible. No. Uh, even as they deceive us, me, I have seen the manifestation and mm. the word of God in the Bible, how it's happening and working in my life. So, I mean, it's a good thing. Even if they deceive us, I will embrace it. I love that deceit. <laughs> <laughs> that is Pastor Samuel Dake, an ambassador for Christ. <laughs> an ambassador for Christ. Here ends this week's edition of the Priesthood Hour. Make sure you follow the channel on Facebook. It's Multibeast TV and on YouTube to Multibeast TV. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us every time and every week. We come away with such conversation. God bless you and see you. Shalom.